given that the sum from i equals 1 to 5 of a i is 7, the sum from i equals 6 to 12 of a i is 25, and the sum from i equals 2 to 13 of b i is equal to minus 4, calculate the following sums. a, the sum from i equals 1 to 12 of 1 minus a i, and b, the sum from i equals 1 to 12 of a i plus 2 b i plus 1. First, let's understand what each of the sums we've been given actually mean. So, the sum from i equals 1 to 5 of a i equals... Well, what I do is I run through the possible values of i and put them into the formula. So, I've got i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3, and so on, i equals 5. And so I put them into the formula. So ai, but i equals 1. So that's a1 plus ai, but i equals 2. So that's a2 plus, and so on, up to A5. So that's what that means. And similarly, the sum from I equals 1 to 12 of AI, sorry, not from 1 to 12, from 6 to 12, would be, well, I equals 6 up to I equals 12. So I have AI, but I equals 6. And I have AI over here, but I is actually 12. And that's what that one is. And the sum from I equals 2 to 13 of BI... So i equals 2 all the way up to i equals 13. So that would be um, bi but i is 2 up to bi but i is 13. So that's that sum. Let's just give myself to do that properly. b2 up to B13. And the sum of AI from 1 to 5 is 7, and the sum from of AI from 6 to 12 is 25. And the sum of AI of BI from 2 to 13 is minus 4. So somewhere there's a list of what all of those numbers from A1 up to A12 and from B2 up to B13 actually stand for. We haven't got that list, but we do have what these sums are. Some of the b's at least must be negative or we wouldn't be able to get a negative answer by adding them together. But this is what we, what we have. So now let's try part a. So part a. The sum from i equals 1 to 12 of 1 minus ai. Well, I can't actually calculate 1 minus AI for each of the AIs because I don't know what the A's stand for. So I have to use some of the rules of sums. And the rules of sums say that I can split up um, this sum into two pieces. Kind of like expanding brackets, the rules say that I can do the sum from I equals 1 to 12 of 1 minus the sum from I equals 1 to 12 of AI. Okay. So let's have a look at this first part first. The sum from i equals 1 to 12 is just adding up 12 ones. So this would be equal to 12. So what about this other part over here? This part here is a sum from 1 to 12 of ai. If I look back at my original information, I have, hmm, let's see, I have the sum from 1 to 5 of AI, 
and I have the sum from 6 to 12. So that does cover A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12. So that covers all the ones from 1 to 12. So to put them all together from 1 to 12 must be 7 plus 25. So this must be 7 plus 25. So that would be 12 minus 32, which is negative 20. Well, that wasn't that bad. Now let's do part B. The sum from i equals 1 to 12 of ai plus 2bi plus 1. All right, well, let's do what we did before and split it up into two pieces. I've got the sum from i equals 1 to 12 of ai plus the sum from i equals 1 to 12 of 2bi plus 1. And I've already figured out what the sum from 1 to 12 of ai is. It was 32 from above. Plus, and I reckon I need to use another rule here. I I have the sum of just b's, so if I could just uh, very sneakily get this 2 and move it out the front, uh, that would solve the problem of having a 2 in there, and I am allowed to do such things. So 2 the sum from i equals 1 to 12 of bi plus 1. Now let's just look back at the information I've got on the previous page. Hmm, on this page, I have the sum from 2 to 13 of bi. Okay, and what I've got over here is the sum from 1 to 12 of bi plus 1. Well, let's think about what that means. If I put 1 into this formula just here, oh, not there, here, I'll get two. So I'll actually have B2. And I keep doing that until I put B12 um, into this formula and I'll actually have B13. So this sum really is the sum from B from I equals 2 to I equals 13 of just BI. It's B2 up to B13. So this is really B2 up to B13. Now I can use I'll use a different letter just to highlight the fact that I have actually changed something there. But the letter doesn't matter. I could have kept it as an I. And I know what the sum from 2 to 13 of B is. It's minus 4. So 32 plus 2 times minus 4, which would be 32 um, minus 8, which would be 24. And that's the end of the problem.